You bet. What, what you do bet. you feel about it? Just in your own heart, this is this is something that I, it hasn't happened in my lifetime. I don't think it's happened in your lifetime because you're younger than me. No, no, exactly right, Jim. And I, you know, obviously, uh, you know, my book Eye to Eye, I have documented 127 plus events that have happened when the United States was applying pressure on Israel to divide their covenant land. And uh, President Trump, who has been an extraordinary friend of Israel, he has done more for Israel than every one of our presidents combined. The embassy, uh, the acknowledgement that the settlements are not illegal, Israel's right to the Golan Heights, uh, you, know, uh, you know, other Israel's right to defend itself, on and on. The list is so long. And again, more than all presidents combined. But something happened, it began to happen on January 28th at the White House at noon. I was there. Uh, President Trump introduced his Peace for Prosperity Plan for Israel and the Palestinians. Uh, shortly after his meeting, he posted his official boundary map on his Twitter site, which has 71.8 mm -hmm. million followers. And literally 40 minutes later, we had a 7.7 .7 earthquake shake the financial district of Miami. And what was unique about this, it originally came out, the USGS said 7.3, and a lot of times they come, come in high when they first introduce it and it drops afterwards. This one jumped from 7.3 to 7.7, 7, 40 minutes after he posted his uh, roadmap plan. 24 hours later, he appointed his first coronavirus committee to research this, to stay abreast of it, and to watch this. And at the time, Jim, at the time in January 28th, there was only a couple people in the world that had the coronavirus. And then uh, January 28th, the plan was developed. And then on February 24th and 25th, President Trump had his official mapping group in Israel, three Israelis, three Americans mapping on the boundaries of what was going to be in Judea and Samaria that the Israelis were going to be able to keep, and the balance was going to go to the Palestinians. And what I say here that's so significant is basically the boundary map that President Trump was establishing was a boundary map that superimposed the boundaries of Genesis 15, 18. It's very specific of what Israel's boundaries are.